Hey guys, section two of what's going on here today. This is for educational and this is going to be part of your uh, core subject matter for the assignment for April 1st for the classes of ELW 211. What I have picture here is a set cross section and a picture of a URD 15 kV cable. This is a primary underground cable and the objective here is to know the different parts of the cable. So I'm going to use my mouse pointer here and I'm going to start from the interior to the exterior. Now the question is going to come up on a quiz for you to list these out. I'm not really too concerned what order you put them in, exterior to interior or interior to exterior, as long as you have them in order and you know the parts. So first part of the cable here is the conductor. This is the aluminum area right in here and this is what carries the actual primary voltage. The black covering that goes around the conductor there is the conductor shield. So that's number two. This orange looking area right in here is the insulation. Of course my phone's going to go off is the insulation. The next black covering here is what we call the semiconductor. I had spoken in previous lessons before of what a semiconductor does. We're not going to get into that right now, but if you want to look back in your notes that it will be coming later as to why we use a semiconductor right here. The next orange looking, copper looking, and it is copper, wire right here is the ground and neutral. So before we had said, well, ground and neutral are two different things. In underground cable, we use this to attach to the ground and we also use this to transport. Remember, neutral is a transport from ground to ground for the neutral. And the outside right here is the outer jacket. Red stripe right here designates that it's a power cable. So, from the inside, conductor, conductor shield, insulation, semiconductor, neutral ground, outer jacket. Okay. I'm going to also go through a secondary cable right here. If I can get up to it. unpin this goes away there we go okay secondary cable make this a little bit bigger for you you'll notice on secondary cable it's just like uh, overhead cable with one difference we have 120 volts here that's our hot leg 120 volts here that's our other hot leg and then we have a neutral the neutral in overhead is not covered by insulation. In underground it is and it's designated by the yellow stripe. So obviously if we needed to have triplex which is three wires one two three this is the type we would use. If we needed duplex we'd only need two wires one and two and we take this wire away. If we needed quadruplex we'd have four wires so we'd have one additional hot leg right here one hot leg one hot leg that makes three and then our neutral the fourth one would be quadruplex four wires that's it for the lesson on underground cable today and we'll be giving you an assignment on that so gentlemen boy this is fun getting used to <laughs> have a good day